Okay, and we're back. Alright, so this will be our diffuse map. Diffuse is a... Uh, you know, the picture that you paste on to whatever model or whatever. So, this is what we'll be using for that. And, that'll be that. Okay. Also, uh, just to answer a brief question, people ask me sometimes, see this little tab here at the bottom? What this is? This is... Um, this was just a plug-in for my tablet. You click on this, and with the tablet pen, you know, uh, you type in whatever you want. So I'm doing it with a mouse now. But uh, anyway, that's what that is. Okay, so to get the opacity map, what you want to do is um, you bring up your layer. It's really quite simple, actually. Just double-click your layer. And go to color overlay. I think it'll be default red. I'm just gonna. No, okay, well, I'll keep it on this screen. See, I have a right screen also. As you run my software on the left, unless it's like a vector based, I usually use on my right screen. Okay, uh, okay, so change this to white. Because opacity maps in Studio Max work on, you know, grayscale. Uh, white will be completely opaque, and then black, of course, will be completely transparent. So just click OK. Control Shift S is save as JPEG. Uh, tut underscore flag underscore. I'm going to get rid of the original and copy and put opacity. Pow, enter, make sure this is at, you know, 100%, quality 12, alright, we just go back to that layer over here, let's turn the effect off, now we're back to our, our uh, diffuse, control, shift, S, save as, JPEG again, get rid of the original end copy, and type in diffuse, Two F's, I know I spell everything wrong. If you hear anything wrong with my grammar, punctuation, or see something wrong with my spelling, let it be. I'm dyslexic. I'm half retarded. I only know how to work a couple of software uh, programs, right? A couple of prep, uh, program packages. So, other than that, I'm basically retarded. Save. Again, make sure 12 is 100% here. And that should be all for photo, the Photoshop piece of our thing. Minimize that. Bring Max back up. Okay, what we could do here is... Well, okay. You click on Material Editor here. And, uh, again, this pops up on my right screen, and I hate repositioning these things for the damn tutorials. That's irritating. You want to grab the diffuse one we grab. See diffuse right here? Click on the little gray box. Pops up on the right screen. I'm sorry. Like I said, I keep these things in a specific position. I have, like, an OCD issue with it. Bitmap. want to uh, you want to navigate to where your folder is uh, flag diffuse you can double click that right there and that gives you you know a preview of the map you just made opacity right go to parent button okay so now we'll click on your flag just dump that there this gives you this little preview button. Well, that actually kind of sucks because it worked. You understand what I mean? I wanted to show you how to use the unwrap UVW modifier. I guess if you followed this tutorial the way that I did it, you will 
don't need it for this one. Maybe we'll cover that in a later time. So anyway, if we hit the render button, with, sorry, if we hit the render button, it's funny that Camtasia uh, to pause and unpause the recording is F9, and that's the quick render button. Uh, render one frame in Studio Max. So instead, we just have to hit this. That a lot. Ah, of course. Um, eight brings up your environment tab. Let's change this so we can see what the hell's going on. Again, hit this button. All right. See, that's not see through. So we have to grab our opacity map, opacity right here, or you can find it in your maps opacity again bitmap opacity plow okay good we will have to resize it a little bit that's fine though so we have the opacity on there now again I hit that friggin F9 button In hindsight, I guess I shouldn't have cut it this close here, but, you know, whatever. You guys can do the fine details later. And my concern is this line right in here. See, this, this is an edge that we didn't completely get out. So, we will have to use a map modifier. Uh, unwrap UVW edit each one of these vert, uh, either vertex vertices uh, however you want to say it represents the spot on the flag right you want to bring up diffuse so you can see where you're at and select all of them and this is your scale uh, uniform, right? You could do uh, horizontal, vertical, whatever. I use the uniform. That'll be good in this case. And just bring it in slightly off the edges. See that? See how it jumped in here? And that will uh, that will get get rid of that nonsense. So okay, we're good. No more line in here. No more nonsense. And we have that basically done then. Eight minutes. We have another minute left. Now, if we really wanted to, we could go back in and, uh, the cloth modifier and uh, redo the group so that the vertex of the flag right in here aren't grabbing the pole so that then would stretch too do you understand what I mean so we could do that we're not going to but that's always another option we could do alright so I guess uh I'll just cut it a little short here, and um, when we come back, we'll do the last piece to this. This is basically what we got so far. It's looking good. I know you agree, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. I'll see you in part whatever is next part later.